powerful, unpredictable, devastating. When the ground moves beneath your feet, would you know what to do? Brace yourself as we explore incredible footage of these unstoppable seismic events. In January 2020, an earthquake with a 7.7 .7 magnitude strikes the Caribbean, with an epicenter located just south of Cuba in the Cayman Trough. This is what happened in a liquor store. Also in the Caribbean, Haiti sits within one of the most volatile seismic regions. The tectonic plates here are constantly bumping and grinding against one another. The unfortunately positioned Haitian capital of Port-au-Prince is sat directly on a fault line that, occasionally, releases huge amounts of seismic pressure. These CCTV clips are from the earthquake which struck there in 2010. In less than a minute, 100,000 buildings collapsed. Over 3 million people were affected by the quake, and over 200,000 people lost their lives. The earthquake only had a magnitude of 7.0. However, unlike in other countries located on or near fault lines, very few of Haiti's buildings were constructed for earthquake resistance. Due to the poverty in Haiti, people build where and how they can. The capital's many multi-story concrete buildings collapsed in a deadly heap due to poor stability as a result of no building codes being enforced. Over one million people were made homeless. Haiti never fully recovered from the 2010 devastation. In recent years, the country has been plagued by further earthquakes, damaged infrastructure, and poor living conditions, which led to disease outbreak, civil unrest, and now, gang violence. In February 2023, Turkey and northern Syria experienced a devastating series of earthquakes. Situated at the convergence of three tectonic plates, the ground beneath eastern Turkey and Syria is under constant geological pressure. The region is seismically vulnerable. The Arabian and African plates continue to push the Anatolian plate westwards. The exerting force pushes the plate by an estimated 2 centimeters per year. This ongoing pressure builds up over time, creating a strain on the fault line. Which, periodically, results in disaster. This earthquake marked a significant event, with major aftershocks following the initial quake. Typically, aftershocks occur in decreasing intensity after the first earthquake. However, in this case, there was a massive aftershock, nearly as powerful as the initial quake. Scenes like this captured from an office CCTV camera occurred throughout the region. The shallow epicenter of the earthquake meant that most of the movement occurred near the surface. As a result, the damage inflicted on structures and the surface itself was catastrophic. Buildings crumbled. Streets were filled with rubble. The earthquake caused catastrophic damage to agricultural infrastructure in 11 provinces in Turkey. It disrupted basic food production and livelihoods for rural people. Syria was already suffering from the effects of the civil war, an ongoing conflict that began 12 years prior. In total, 
it's estimated that 18 million people in Turkey and Syria were impacted by the disaster. Captured here, an entire apartment block collapses on itself. Each floor crushes the one below, a process known as pancaking. Over 55,000 people died or are missing, and nearly 130,000 people were injured. The estimated damages in Turkey alone total $34 million. It will be years before all the devastation is repaired. In coastal regions, an earthquake means there is a risk of another natural phenomena, a tsunami. Shortly after an earthquake in Turkey, you can see how quickly a car park is totally flooded with water. The pressure of an earthquake displaces huge volumes of water. This can result in large waves being formed, or sometimes just sustained and prolonged flooding as water levels rise. This was the result of the Aegean Sea earthquake in 2020. With a magnitude of 7.0 on the Richter scale, the tsunami this earthquake caused arrived 15 minutes after the initial shock. Thankfully, no deaths were caused just major damage to property and vehicles. During an earthquake, the safest place to be is outside. However, that's the last place you want to be in a tsunami. These scenes were also captured during the 2020 Aegean earthquake. Streams of people come running from the high-rise buildings to the safety of open ground. Modern buildings like these are constructed on foundations designed to absorb seismic movement, or with materials like steel that are designed to wobble, but not collapse. We see how the civilians run towards the coastline. Within 15 minutes, they'll need to quickly move away again in order to not get their feet wet. There are many seismic hotspots across the globe. You can improve your odds by hiding under a table or in a doorway, but there's never a good time or place to encounter an earthquake. Just get outside, get down low, and wait till the shaking stops. If you've stuck around this long, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Click here for other videos. See you next time.